Welcome to OFR. In this video, I'll be showing you how to assemble the Fiable TV bench from IKEA. For this tutorial, you'll need to grab either a Phillips screwdriver or a Phillips drill bit, a level, and something that you can poke a small hole like a small screwdriver or a small drill bit. The Fiable TV bench should also come with two different bags of screws and bits. I would recommend you to keep them separate, either in the bags or put them into a couple of bowls. The first step of this assembly is to grab this long metal bar and this right leg piece and put it together. Make sure this part of the bar is facing up, and the leg should have these holes also facing up. Next, you'll need to grab one of these screws and screw it into this hole. Now grab the bottom of the TV bench and slide it in like this. Then grab one screw and screw it into the bottom right corner like this. Next, grab this long bar and place it in like this. Make sure the bar is facing down. Then grab one screw and screw it into this hole. You may need an extra hand to keep the bar level. Now you'll need to grab the left metal leg piece and place it in like this. Grab three screws and screw them into these three holes. The next step is to grab this left corner piece and two screws. You'll have to attach this corner piece using the two screws like this. Then go to the right side and attach the right corner piece using another two screws. Next, grab the set of the Chicago screws and screw these two into the top. Then grab the other two screws that look like this and screw them into the bottom. Make sure you don't screw them in all the way. You want to keep them a bit loose. Repeat the same steps for the other side as well. Now grab four of the leveling screws and screw them into the bottom of the legs. Next, grab this metal bar that has two pairs of holes as shown and place it on the right side of the TV bench like this. Then grab two of these screws and attach the metal bar to the TV bench frame. The holes are located underneath. Now grab the metal bar that has no holes on one of its sides and place it like this. Then grab two of these screws and screw them in. Again, the holes are located underneath. Now flip the TV bench over onto its backside. Next, grab this metal bar and place it like this. Make sure the two holes on the metal bar are facing down. And again, take these two screws and screw them in. You'll be repeating the same steps for the other metal bar as well. Then grab four leveling screws and screw them into the bottom of the legs. Now flip the TV stand upright. For this next step, you'll be using the shorter piece of wood. Grab the shorter piece of wood and place it like this. Just make sure that one side doesn't stick out too much. Make it as even as possible. Now grab the tools that are intended for poking small holes. There are eight places we are gonna poke these holes. I flipped the TV bench on its side to show you a better angle so you see where the eight holes and these eight screws will go. When you're poking the holes though, I wouldn't recommend flipping the bench on its side. 
When you're poking the holes and screwing in the screws, the piece of wood can move and your alignment will be off. Next, grab this metal frame and the other piece of wood and put them together like this. Make sure the frame and this piece of wood are properly aligned. Again, grab your tools for poking holes and poke eight holes into these eight places as shown. Now grab eight screws and screw them into these eight holes. Check the alignment after each time you screw in a screw. The metal frame or the piece of wood may move a bit after each attempt. Now for each step, the TV bench will be placed like this. The two pairs of holes indicates that this is the front of the bench. Just letting you know in case I messed you up when I moved the TV bench to this different location in my living room. The next step is to fit the top part of the TV bench onto the frame. Make sure you don't put it in backwards or the next step won't work. Now grab six of these screws and screw them into these six holes. Then grab these two metal pieces and two screws. You'll be attaching this metal piece to the frame like this. Do the same for the other side. For the next step, you'll need to grab a level and adjust the leveling screws if your floor is uneven. Now set up your TV bench doors like this. Then grab 6 hinges and 12 screws. Attach 2 hinges to each door using 4 screws. It'll look something like this. Do the same for the other doors. Now grab 12 screws and you'll be using 4 screws to secure the door to the TV bench frame. Do the same for the other two doors. You might have to loosen the screws and adjust them if your doors are misaligned. Everybody will have different results so you'll have to play around with it if that's the case. Next, grab a magnet and a screw and secure it into this hole like this. Do the same for the other two magnets. The next step is to see if your TV bench isn't tilting to one side. You can check by placing a level on the side like this. If it's tilting, Play around with the Chicago screws that you left loose and the leveling screws. After making everything level, tighten the Chicago screws like this. IKEA also provides you with two holes in the back to secure the TV bench to the wall. You'll have to buy the right screws though, as IKEA doesn't provide you with any. The last step is to put the wire clips in the back so you can keep your wires more organized. Place them anywhere that makes sense for your setup. Now you should have a properly built Fiabo TV bench. Hope this tutorial helped.